Hi everyone, I'm back. We are going to do a craft session. I've got all my craft stuff out. I will show you in a minute so that you know what you need to go and get to make today's craft. Really minimal. You don't need a lot at all. So um, because we are leading up to a really exciting celebration, do you know what it is? Easter! We are going to be looking at something that happened just before Jesus' death and resurrection. Um, and we're going to make a craft just to help us remember that part of Jesus' life. So we are going to look, if it's in the Bible, um, so if you'd like to read it later, I'm going to pull out some bits from Matthew 21. So if you can find that in your Bible, that'd be awesome. We can have a read of it a little bit later. And it talks about Jesus entering Jerusalem as a king. So, Jesus and his followers were coming closer to Jerusalem and they stopped and he sent two of his followers into the town and said to them, you will find a donkey and his colt tied up and I want you to bring them to me. And if anyone questions you, say to them, he says, the master needs them. He will send them back soon. Um, so the followers did that. They, they took the donkeys. I've made a donkey. Um, and they put their coats on the donkeys and Jesus sat on them. And then many people laid their coats down on the ground before Jesus on the donkeys. Um, and some of them as well took down palm leaves, cut down big leaves from the trees and laid those palm leaves on the floor. And they were all shouting. Some of them were before Jesus and some of them were following. But they were all praising and they were all shouting, Hosanna. And, and Hosanna is like a cry of praise and joy thanking God for sending Jesus as, as a saviour for us all. So we're going to, to help us remember that special moment, we are going to make our own donkeys, Easter donkeys. So I'm going to get that out of the way because that's going to get in my way. Now, funny story, um, I had a first attempt at making this donkey. I like to think I'm pretty good at drawing, but I'll let you be the judge. So my second attempt was better. First attempt was this one. Now, I'm going to be honest, I, I didn't copy it from Google or anything like that. I just tried to draw a donkey. I'm going to be honest, I think it looks a little bit more like a German Shepherd or some sort of security dog. So that, that was the first attempt. Second attempt, I improved a little bit and I think that is a bit more donkey shaped. Hopefully, hopefully you agree. So the other things that you need, you're gonna need some card. So that can either be gray, cause most donkeys are like a grayish color and you can cut it out of gray card. Or if you get like a white card, you can color it or paint it later. I also have some green card. Again, if you don't have green card, don't worry. You can color it or paint it later to make our own little palm leaves. Okay, so we're gonna make those. Now the key ingredient for this craft is little pegs because we're going to make a peg leg donkey see i've got little dinky pegs just to put that into perspective that's the size of my thumb and that's a peg they're dinky craft pegs but if you've got bigger pegs that you hang your laundry out with cool you can make a bigger donkey probably more the size of my one i've launched it wherever that is a bigger donkey but i'm going to make a little donkey and so what we're going to do is first of all i'm going to draw an eye. I'm going to think about where his little eye would go. I think it would probably go about there. No, oh, that's not bad. And a smile. Happy donkey. Happy donkey. Cool. And now what else I've got as well is some wool. This is actually, this isn't wool. This is, my, I've got a hessian. I love a bit of hessian. So I've pulled a few strands of hessian and I'm going to glue them as he's mine can i just say i am aware that this is very big and a bit like a pineapple today that was the look i was going for i am aware my daughter put it all in loads of plaits for me so i feel like i'm 12 again and i've, I've crimped it all um so we're going to put a little bit of glue sort of down his spine down here and a bit there on his bottom for his tail so i'm going to stick on it Oh, beautiful. Stick some on as a mane and some ooh, as a tail. 
it's probably a bit long because it looks a bit more like a horse now so you might not want to put as much on and then the little pegs you peg on as the legs and then you have a little donkey and he can stand up like that I don't know if you can see where can I put him there I'll just hold him but they'd stand up because the pegs are split at the bottom they stand up so that's really cool and then if you just take your little palm leaf like this and you can glue that on the back and I've written on my palm leaf I've written Hosanna which is what all the people were crying out in praise I'm just gonna stick that like that and there's my little Hosanna my donkey for Jesus to ride in on so I hope you enjoy making your little peg leg donkeys I would love to see them so if you could take a picture please send them in I can't wait to see what you've made Love you, miss you all, bye.